Hey guys, Jeeps here, and welcome back to Terra. So, as you can see, we are actually in the game now. We're not uh, not just going to look at character creation from a distance today. We're actually going to take a look at some of the mechanics. And uh, we're on Atna. It's our level 22 high elf warrior. And this uh, this Amon is kind of taking up the entire screen right now. But, um, he, yeah, he's there. He's in all white and orange. He's all decked out. He's on his horse. He's pretty cool. And first, first thing we're going to look at today is chain skills. Chain skills are a big way this game differentiates its combat from other games. So I've already told you about the action combat, about how you actually have to hit targets and there's hitboxes and collision detection and all that. However, there's another way it does it. So at the bottom of my screen there, you can see I do still have action bars and they're all numbered and they are hotkeys. These will activate abilities. Yes, those abilities still need to hit, but I can hit for example, one, here, let me demonstrate, get off my horse. If I hit one, I do an attack, just like, just like in any other game. However, you can set up skills so that in combat, again, say I hit one, in combat, at the end of that attack, the option will pop up for me to immediately go into another attack. Usually by hitting spacebar. Again, you can change all the keys. So the default for chaining attacks together is spacebar, which is what I'm still using because it's convenient. So let me pop into the chain skills menu and I can show you how that works. So go to your skills. You can also hit K to bring this up. Again, default. Uh, so we've got all our skills here. And we can also click on chain skills. That brings up this screen. And combo attack four. See this first one? That's your basic attack. It's rank four right now. That's just your damage just like in any other game and it goes into rain of blows which is the skill I currently have bound to number one then rain of blows my number one skill goes into rising fury which I don't actually have set to anything on my hotbars this is because the only time I'm using rising fury is after rain of blows as a result I don't need it on my hotbars so I'm gonna take off this display only in combat on these two just so I can give you, just, you know, in this kind of sterile vacuum here, an idea of how this works. So, got that done. Let's close these windows. Go back into direct mode. You notice that when you click, when you hit escape out of um, being able to look at your menus, you don't actually have a cursor. This just controls my camera. All your turnings, keyboard, is, sorry, not keyboard turning. You can't keyboard turn. It's great. That just strafes. You, everything is mouse turning. So, you never have to worry about that problem again. But anyways... Let's take a look at this comboing. So we'll just go into our basic attack, bound to left mouse button. So, start doing my basic combo attack. See there? Spacebar, Reign of Blows. I can hit that, and automatically go into Reign of Blows. Spacebar again, Rising Fury, and the final attack from Rising Fury. As a result, I don't actually need Reign of Blows or Rising Fury on my bars. I do have Reign of Blows on my bar, because I find it useful to go into, but... Many attacks, you will never need to put on a bar. Because you'll just chain into them. That's the optimal time to use them, so why bother hitting another button? You can just do one attack straight into another. For another example, I can do... Well, I can do Poison Blade into, I believe it is called... It's a fang attack. It's kind of like a cool snake bite animation. It's really cool. I don't have that one set up to not display in combat, so you know what? Why are we just showing this around a campfire? Let's go find something to stab. Alright, so here we go. Some big ol' horrible tree people. A mossy... I don't really know how to pronounce that. I think it's Giledu. Something like that. I've never, never really bothered. So let's, let's go kill him. Let's get ready. Let's do this. So, let's just open up with our basic combo attack. He's gonna try and punch me. And I can just dodge right out of the way of that. After I rolled there, you see I can do Vortex Slash. There's some chaining. Though, I then just got, you know, flattened by a tree. Blows, and he's gone. Well, let's just do Rising Fury while we're at it. All these attacks take mana, which, um, Warrior's a class with a mana bar. However, my attacks, my basic attacks, that is, um, they regenerate my mana. So, say I start going into combo attack here, my mana starts going up. Again, I'll dodge out of the way of his stupid attack. Get behind him when he falls on me this time. Hi, I'm on to you. Rain of Blows. And he's down. Pick up this stuff here. Uh, let's show off some of the other abilities. I'll show you that other combo I was talking about. 
Go into Poison Blade. And pounce! That's what it was called. Sorry, my memory was kind of bad there. So he's poisoned. I dodge so I can Vortex Slash again. Vortex Slash is an attack you can only use after dodging. I believe there's another ability you can get later that you can use it after. But I don't have it yet. So right now, I have to dodge to Vortex Slash. And yeah, that's Chain Skills in a nutshell. As a result, you often don't need to hit your bars very often. You can just chain from one skill into the next. It's great. It kind of keeps up that dynamic action feel that Terra is so, so designed around. Because really, the combat is the highlight of this game. I'll be honest, the questing, it's nothing new. I mean, it's fun, but it's fun because the combat is fun, not because it's anything innovative. It's mostly go here, kill ten of these, collect ten bear asses. It's what you've always seen. But the combat is great, and those chain skills just add a whole other dynamic to them. All right, guys, that's it for now. Like, subscribe, thumbs up, all that. I've been Jeeps, and I'll talk to you guys later.